<laughs> waking this up is anywhere on the screen. I'm not looking for a specific button or an action control. I can start anywhere. And you can see how I can look underneath or continue to let it go down. The minute I let go, the screen goes off. And you can move across and you can see how gradual it is. And even moving very quickly across. So you can see the uh, peak that we kind of talked about is, is not only when you uh, open up an application, right? So well, it's calendar, you kind of see that peak of all your different feeds, right? Facebook, BBM, phone calls, Twitter, LinkedIn, messages. And the, the important thing is the application isn't paused, right? This is continuing to run. Um, and I'm, it's a reversible action, so I'm always in control of it. And there's no specific area that I can see. And so I can let go of it and continue with what I'm doing, right? And I can kind of flow day by day. I can move to week, to month, right? You can kind of see the bigger numbers, busier I am. So even just quick look at a month, you know when you're busy and when you're not. I can pull down and you kind of get this six month, month view and you see how flow really makes that easy. And then if you go back today, you can actually switch to people view. Kind of see all the different people there. And I can do that and move across. And what's really interesting is there's actually two methods of peak. So if I peek anywhere in the message, like this, you can see I go straight back to that Facebook filter. But if I peek from back, I actually pull out all the different other feeds. Just in case there's a red splat next to any one of those icons, I know what else I'm looking at. And you can kind of see all the different chats, right? Your BBM chats, group chats. You can go to contacts. You can see everything's visual there in terms of the, the layout. You can go to groups as well and have a look at that group. Everything's there in one single view. And because of active frames, everything is kept up to date without me even having to go into each individual one. So I can click on chats and you'll see there, you know, Jeff Gadway has kind of given an update and it, it immediately appears there. If someone's put a new picture in, you get a red splat, some new pictures. So I can go in there and there's all the new pictures that have been uploaded. Right, and click on one. Kind of this, there could be comments. And you can see as I go back out, the splat is now gone. You can actually add up to three languages at the same time. You could put English, Spanish, French, whatever you wanted. Um, and we'll actually do some really clever language detection that will provide you the suggestions and corrections as you expected them, no matter which language you're actually typing in. So as an example here, now I've put English and Spanish. Okay, so you can kind of see, um, as best I can, is Hola, um, Rafa, and I can type in hello, hello, and you can kind of see, doesn't correct anything there, um, gives more Spanish words. And you can kind of see I've switched between English, Spanish, English, Spanish, back and forth, and it's completely been understood by, by the keyboard. Um, again, you can see how I flicked words up at the screen. If I swipe down, I get numbers and symbols, right, swipe again. If I want to delete words, I just swipe back anywhere on this keyboard.